stress all day and it is your worst nightmare. Rain all day on your wedding day. It happens and if you are in the southeast, then it happens a lot, especially because down here, we like to have our weddings outside. You're definitely going to have to have a rain plan. So take a deep breath and here are some things to think about if it is going to rain on your wedding day. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys liked my umbrella because I thought it was cute. All right, in all seriousness, I know that it is a really stressful thing if there is rain in the forecast of your wedding day, but that doesn't mean that everything is ruined and it also doesn't mean that you need to panic. So. Here are some things to think about if you are seeing rain, wind, and clouds on your wedding day. Number one, don't freak out. This is kind of a given, but I need to say it because I have to say it to every one of my brides who sends me a screenshot of the forecast of their wedding day. There are plenty of people that have gotten married on ugly days, and guess what? They still wake up every single day next to the love of their life and everything is still okay. Number two, talk to your venue coordinator or your planner about a rain plan. Hopefully this was something that you'd already planned for and talked about when you were designing your day, especially if you're having an outdoor wedding. Most venues have a rain plan, especially if the majority of the event is supposed to take place outside. This could look like a rental tent or moving to another space inside of the venue. You need to know what the plan is, if it's already gonna be set up in case we're not gonna know until the day of if it's gonna be able to be outside or inside. And then also just generally what the plan is so that that way you can start visualizing what your day is going to look like if you do have to execute on your rain plan. Number three, trust your vendors. You hired professionals for a reason. This means that they are able to work with any situation and think on their feet so that that way they can still deliver the best service to you. Your DJ, florist, caterer, photographer, videographer, all of your vendors should know what to do in this situation without you having to tell them what to do. Just keep them in the loop of any major changes like a location change or if you are gonna execute on your rain plan just so that we're all kept in the loop and can make adjustments if needed. Number four, talk to your makeup and hairstylist to see if anything needs to change. I know this would be so sad, but you may need to change your plan for makeup and hair, especially hair. If you're like me, my hair gets really frizzy outside if there's even a chance that the humidity is going to be higher than like 80%. If I had a vision of having my hair down with loose curls and I knew that there was going to be some kind of thunderstorm or rain on my wedding day, I would probably talk to my hairstylist about changing and doing some kind of updo so that that way it looks a little bit more controlled. And when I look back on my photos, I'm still really, really happy with the way that I look. So make sure that you talk to your stylist and that you have a rain plan for your hair in case you do wanna go with that route and make sure that your stylist talents are going to be able to do that for you. Whatever you do with your hair and makeup, you wanna make sure that when you look back on the photos of that day, you remember it being beautiful and happy and not feeling like the rain ruined everything. Number five, bring extra towels, a white sheet, and potentially a shower curtain. So towels probably make sense to you, but I don't know if everybody thinks about bringing a white sheet or even bringing a shower curtain. If you're getting married in an area with big fields and you had a vision of being out in the grass, it's a really good idea to bring something like a clear shower curtain so that way we can lay it down underneath your dress and that will keep it from getting wet and muddy. Your photographer probably won't bring you to an area that's really muddy, but if it's raining outside, the ground is still gonna be wet and we wanna minimize how wet your dress is getting throughout the day. A shower curtain is something that's gonna be really helpful for doing that because we can just tuck it right underneath the dress. Having a clear shower curtain on deck, towels, or even just a white sheet is gonna be something that you're gonna feel really happy about because we don't have to give up on certain locations just because the ground is wet. We'll just lay those down and be good to go. Number six. Clear umbrellas. You can actually get really cute photos in the rain as long as you have clear umbrellas. I usually bring a few clear umbrellas with me so that that way I have them in case the bride and groom need them or if we need to go into the bridal party. But if you're thinking ahead and you have got a specific cute clear umbrella, then I would definitely bring it. Kate Spade has the cutest clear umbrella that says love is in the air and I'm linking it in my blog post if you wanna check that out just in case it might rain on your wedding day. Number seven, have a plan for prioritizing your photos. Sometimes your wedding venue doesn't have extra space for photos if everyone's going to be crowded into a large area. And this can make it really hard to get all of the photos that you were expecting if we don't have access to go outside. And of course, we're gonna do everything that we can to get all of the photos that you had vision for your day but sometimes I've been in situations where we have like five minute increments of rain letting up outside and the clouds breaking up and the sun peeping through. And we need to decide 
what photos are going to get the priority of the nicer weather. Do you care more about your bride and groom portraits? Do you care a lot about your family photos? Do you wanna make sure that you have photos with your whole bridal party? We just need to talk about that before your actual wedding day so that that way when we have those five minute increments, we know exactly who we wanna pull outside, we can get the photos that we care most about and then use flash for all of the rest of them. And then number eight, Think about having a first look. Y'all know I love a first look and I especially love them when the weather is not going to be ideal. And it's mostly because first looks let us have a lot of freedom with the timeline, especially if it's going to be nicer during the day and the storms are gonna be rolling in in the evening. Not to get technical with weather, but with storms, it's going to look like the sun is setting a lot earlier than it actually is. And so we wanna get as many photos as we can during the day even if it is cloudy because the sun is going to be brighter. So first looks allow us to have the ability to move things around and get the majority of the photos before the actual ceremony, especially if it's going to be kind of iffy on the day. And then above all else, I know that it's really hard because you have this beautiful vision of this day, but really focus on the things that really matter, which is the fact that you're marrying the love of your life. And you may have this really awesome story that even though it rained, you blocked and tackled and didn't let anything stop you from getting married. Plus, it's good luck too, right? If you were a bride that had rain on your wedding day, then you can also leave some of the things that you found really helpful in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe for more wedding related videos that I will be posting every Wednesday. And if you have anything specific, then let me know. All right, bye guys.